after I graduate, I will be moving to Seattle this summer to start at Microsoft as a program manager. Please come visit me. Um, my favorite KSA memory every single year is at the end of K Expo when all the moderns have finished, everyone comes rushing back on stage and we're all chanting KSA, KSA together. It's a great moment because you've just finished a culture show, you've finished all your dances and your acts, and you can finally relax. But not only that, you're also surrounded by people that you love and all your friends. Um, if you haven't experienced your first in-person K-Expo yet, I really hope you get to soon because it's just an experience like no other. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys will have next year and the year after. And thank you all for making my fourth year so great. Bye! Hi KSA, I hope you guys have been having a really great K-Expo season. My name is Sabrina. Um, after I graduate, I will be moving up to Northern Virginia to work as a software developer at IBM, so please wish me luck. Um, if I could choose one KSA memory as my favorite KSA memory, it would definitely just be the entirety of my second year. Um, during the 2018-2019 year, I served as the family head for the Fire Dog family, which I'm wearing our t-shirt now to like represent us. Um, but being able to just meet so many new people, make so many new friends, and just bond through game nights, food nights, study sessions. Um, those are memories that I will just cherish always. Um, I'm really excited for UVA to be able to go back in person next year so that you can either experience it again or for the very first time because it definitely makes the entire KSA experience. Um, and I would just like to say thanks to KSA for really just shaping my entire like college career and uh, making it what it is today so <laughs> bye hi ksa i uh, hope you're having a good k expo so far um but yeah so i'm here to just say goodbye one last time uh, officially and um let you guys know that i will be working up in nova next year um so hopefully i will be able to come down a few times and visit you guys because i know i will miss you all dearly um and yeah so i'm just gonna share a memory one of my favorite memories from my time at ksa um and probably a lot of fourth years are gonna say this but k expo the vibes are unmatched um it's both the k expos that i got to participate in were just so amazing and I got to meet so many people who I wouldn't have met otherwise um, and yeah I think my favorite KSA Modern was the very first one I joined um, my second year I was in uh, Boys Modern we did Stray Kids Get Cool and um, we just really bonded as a group and it was such a fun song and we got like matching keychains and it was yeah really cute um, so yeah, I really hope you guys get to dance together next year too, and maybe I'll see you all at Burley Middle School, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I, I had fun with this um, modified um, K-Expo too, um, and thank you KSA for letting me have um, the most fun ever at your K-Expos. Um, yeah, I love you KSA, I love you KSA members. Hi KSA, I'm Sepiel Park and my postgrad plans are still a little unclear, but I'll be doing something. My favorite memory from being KSA is when I led Singing Act for KXPO 2019. It was my first time leading something for a KSA, but I didn't feel tired or burdened even though we had to go practice late at night and all. It was just really fun to me to sing with other people. And some of us from that group continued to perform and record things together. So I just wanted you guys to know that I really cherish our memories. Um, shout out to Fire Dogs and our obsession with Avalon. And shout out to my littles Twindy and Raneem. I love you guys. And yeah. Thanks for being part of the KSA community, whoever you are. Even if you don't know me. You're rad. And congratulations to the other fourth years and graduates. We made it. Somehow. Okay. Bye. Make sure to get outside. Touch grass. Hey guys, my name's Jacob, if you guys didn't know me. And I'm going to be talking about my favorite KSA memory and what my future plans are after this year. 
Um, I'll actually talk about that first. I'm actually going to be staying here for a bit longer uh, because I took a gap semester um, last spring. So I have one more semester to go. Um, but yeah, and I think my favorite KSA memory definitely has to be me performing for KXPO with uh, Stephanie Ham as Ma the Masked Singers. If you guys don't haven't heard of that, then that's fine. Uh, don't have to search it up either. Um, but yeah, I think I just had a lot of fun um, performing for KXPO, uh, either through singing or dancing. So um, yeah, that's always been one of my favorite KSA memories. And yeah, hope that you guys stay active in KSA and contribute to all the great performances. Hi everyone. Uh, when I graduate, I'll be moving to Madison, Wisconsin to be a software engineer at Epic. Um, my favorite KSA memory is during my third year when I went to a fan event at one of the fan pets apartments. So this was just a chill drinking event in which you got to know other people within your family. And um, since I'm not a big fan of parties and I felt like uh, parties aren't like a good way to know people or get to know people, I felt like this was a really good opportunity to like actually um, like meet people within your family and also like get connected with them. So we just played some games in which you had, I, I had the opportunity to like talk about myself and also get to know other people within my family. I felt like it really allowed me to like connect with people within my family and also like get a feel for uh, KSA. Um, also, I want to thank you guys for being part of my time here at UVA, and I'm pretty sure that even after I graduate, I'll probably be within the KSA Discord, so feel free to hit me up if you want to play games or if you just want to chat. See you guys later. Hey there, KXPO people. Uh, so, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to be for, um... In the future, post graduation, I will get back to you on that. Um, what was it? But my favorite memory with KSA would be performing Boys Modern during K Expo season, my first year at UVA, so second semester. Oh, my hair. Um, it would probably be what was it? The actual performance of it is like all the buildup of it of like. Uh, one whole practice literally taking up like this like oh jump on their back and then fall on this beat and just a bunch of like tedious work like that seeing it all come together during an actual k-expo performance was probably my favorite memory for sure i still think about it sometimes too uh back to that performance and working with everyone then and I, it, it was just so much fun like working with people and seeing something that i wanted to do be performed on stage and perform with them. It's probably my favorite memory. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Uh, well, I guess this is also goodbye um, for all the underclassmen and even upperclassmen. Goodbye to you guys too. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the K Expo event. Oh, all of us worked really hard on it. So, got it. Bye bye. Okay, so weird. <laughs> anyway. Hi guys, my name is Sherlyn. If you don't know me, I was co-chairs with Valerie for Culture around two years ago almost. Um, and I'm a fourth year about to graduate and I will be working in Northern Virginia post-grad at a small company called Fortitude Technologies as a junior software front-end developer. Yeah. So my favorite KSA memory, I would say, um, is more broadly KXPO, but more specifically the day of KXPO. I think the day of KXPO is um, a day that kind of is pretty exciting, um, and it's a good way to see the hard work of everyone pay off. And especially for me, Valerie and Kwong, who was our first year rep that year, um, it was really rewarding to see almost four to five months of hard work and planning pay off. Um, and also, it was, I think KXPO is a prime example of seeing members of all different Asian orgs come together and perform at the same show. So in that regard, I think it's also really heartwarming to see everyone come together. 
um, and in general I think the whole process of KXPO is really fun and memorable. Um, I know because we have the whole external groups tradition, we have people all across different orgs coming together and practicing, so I've been able to have really fun memories with my friends from outside of KSA, so I formed groups with my friends from CSA through CSA Pink and through my teammates from academics through school kids and every single year when we come together it's always a really fun time and definitely memories that I'll take away from college um, and in general I think um, it's the whole process is just being able to incorporate k-pop more seriously into my college career is also very fun <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you know me, I'm a very avid K-pop lover, so being able to do that is also, I think, a kind of, not maybe maybe one of the highlights of my college years. Um, so definitely something very fun and exciting. And I know, unfortunately, that K-Expo this year is virtual, um, but hopefully you guys will have it next year in person. Valerie and I were actually the last two culture chairs to plan an in-person K-Expo and see it go through in person. Um, so I am very grateful to Valerie that we were able to do so and also change some, some of the things the way culture was run and hopefully that will be able to sustain into the future. But again, I fingers crossed for you guys that you guys will have K-Expo in person next year. Um, and I promise you that it will be 10 times more fun than it is this year and there will be no whatever film editing videos all of that none of that and it'll just be you know pure fun and it'll be a great time yeah so I hope you guys had a great K Expo today and remember that the fourth years are always here for you guys only a text away um, yeah happy K Expo everyone hello everyone my name is Ardeen and I am going to share what my future plan is and my favorite KSA memory. Um, as some of you may know, I am on the pre-med track. Currently, I do not have anything planned at the moment because I just found out my research internships have been canceled because of COVID for the second year in a row. So right now I, have n I do not know what I'm going to do next year. Um, it's kind of a blur. Yeah. Um, but because I'm on the pre-med track, this year has been a very long and difficult year for me, um, which is the very reason why I have been so absent and physically and mentally gone um, and was unable to be as active as I wanted to be. Uh, because of that and for that, I would like to apologize to the Bepito family and my littles for being so absent and apologize especially to Val because she was the one covering for me and taking care of me when I when I was overwhelmed with everything. Um, as for my favorite KSA memory, I would like to say it is my entire third year here at, um, at UVA, uh, which was when I was president. Um, I remember when I partied too hard at the first KSA party and I was knocked out before the actual party even started. Uh, Will apparently entered a wrong apartment trying to look for me and take care of me. If you don't know Will, he looks like this. Sorry, Will. Um, I remember performing at Korea Day and introducing all the first years to the audience. Um, I remember cooking lots of meals for like uh, Taste of Korea and fan events. I also remember fixing a toilet at Delphix just so KSA would not have to pay. Long story. Um, all these memories are so important to me because I felt that I was able to help KSA and its people um, my goal when joining KSA was to make many people feel as if KSA was their second home um, because that's how I felt. I felt KSA was my second home. So I felt like the need or responsibility to give something back to the organization, if that makes sense. Um, I just wanted to make everyone feel happy and comfortable when they are um, with KSA and the people in it. Um, no matter how difficult or stressful it may have been for me, like with the toilet incident and with KSA run-throughs and all of that. As long I am able to um, make someone happy and comfortable, that was enough for me. Um, I did not care about how many problems I ran, to, ran into as long as I can make someone smile at the end. Um, 
Again, KSA has been my second home here at UVA, like I said, and I'm really thankful for it because it gave me the opportunity to be myself. Um, it gave me the opportunity to meet new people, um, make new friends, and perform an amazing culture show such as Korea Day and K Expo. So yeah, there's that's my uh, that's what I that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but don't leave yet because we still have one additional thing to show you guys, which is all the four years. Basically, a montage of all the four years. All right, bye guys. I'm not done. 